In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up Home Assistant with BT Home. So this is the Home Assistant web page. All you need is a Raspberry Pi and to install it. So just follow the steps for installation. Um, you basically need to download the Raspberry Pi imager and then you can install everything on an SD card from the Pi imager. You take it, insert the card into the, um, into the Raspberry Pi, boot it up and you're basically given this uh, when you just type in homeassistant.local colon 8123 into, um, into your address bar. So you basically just click through, um, you know, we'll, we'll make some um, username password, create account. This is creating the account locally. It's not doing anything on the internet. Um, let's put a location in next. And again, it's going to ask um, whether it can send any diagnostics. And um, it'll say what devices it's found. Now, obviously, you won't find most of these yourself. Um, but the one we're interested in really is Bluetooth and BT Home. Um, these things will happen because hopefully you're using like a Raspberry Pi 3 or 4 um, that's got a Bluetooth adapter on it. So this has come up. These are the things it's found so far. Um, but if we click on settings, devices and services, um, we'll find a few different different things. Um, I'm just going to set up, I have a socket um, set up with ESP Home, which I'll cover in another video. But um, I'm just going to configure this um, so that we have something to control. Now, if you click on BT Home, you will see we have um, these devices that have appeared. So um, I've got this device by, um, first off, I've, well, I have a PuckJS device here, um, which I have flashed using the um, Esprino app loader. Uh, and there is a, uh, where is it? Oops. There's a BT Home button, which is, I basically uploaded to it. Um, so that's appearing as a sensor as well. So if we uh, hit door here, um, I think it's already in here, isn't it? If we hit one device, so it's going to show us all of the um, button presses that it's actually detected. So if I, let's see if I pull this out here. So if I press a button, you can see it, it shows. And if I long press the button and then release, maybe that wasn't long enough. It should come up as a, um, as a long button press. But maybe that's not coming up just yet. But um, basically, if we now want to use this to control something like um, I have a, uh, a socket controlling a light that you'll be able to see here. So for instance, um, if I go to overview and this socket, I can turn the light off and turn it back on and you'll, you'll see it in the, the camera view. So if we go back to our BT home device and we, um, uh, we click one device, automations, we say when the button is pressed, add an action, device, so our socket, and toggle the relay. And that should be all we need. Um, call that light. So now if I press this, it toggles the relay. But um, we, can, we can go one step further, we can add another device. So here I have a um, Bangle.js device. This is basically with the software that it comes on, um, but it's very easy to load new software on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Bangle app loader. I'm going to connect to the Bangle I have here. 
and then I'm going to install the BT Home app. Um, and the BT Home app, you can run as a little app where you can select items from a menu, but you can also add it to um, clock faces that support something called clock infos. So the default clock face doesn't do that. I'm going to add a clock face that does support clock info, and you can you can choose them by um, uh, by actually just pressing on the clock info to see available clock faces. But I like this one, so we're uploading this. Just to avoid some confusion, we're going to get rid of the other clock face as well. So that old one was called Anton Clock. We'll just get rid of that. And we'll check that we've got everything we want. We've got BT Home, the clock face. Okay, now we can disconnect and we can hold the button down to load. We now have our clock. Um, so normally you can tap and you can swipe to change between the things that are going to be displayed on your clock face. These are what the clock infos are for. Um, but at the moment, we're not going to see anything for BT Home or Home Assistant. But instead, we can go here, we can tap BT Home, Settings, and we'll tell it that we want to report the battery percentage. This Add button, we choose an icon for it that we want. I don't know, let's, let's make it light. Oops, and we'll make it report as a press. And save. We go back now we have a menu option here but we also we go back here we can swipe through and we also have a menu option for the light so we can now go back into home assistant where are we here we go pop back uh, settings BT home and we can add a new entry. Um, often you might find, ah, oh, we, we won't see it yet because the app loader is, no, the app loader is disconnected. That's good. Okay, so what we're gonna do is um, go back here, add entry. Okay, we'll just fire off our light. And now, now we've actually used it, it's marked as discovered we can click configure submit we'll just give it a random area okay now it's showing up in here we can click on one device and we can see again that the um uh the fact that we've used it is logged so if i go here it will come up again and for instance we can just add another automation do something when button press Add action for our socket. Toggle it. So now, hopefully, if I press a button, we'll press once to highlight, once again to activate it. Um, and so it will work with either the button or the um, or the bangle because we've set up the um, the two different actions but it's like it's super easy that was a completely fresh install of home assistant um, nothing else that you have to have to worry about at all um, Bluetooth range often isn't um, isn't as as long as you might like so um, it's actually very very easy to um, uh, to make extra Bluetooth bridges using uh, something called ESP Home. And I'll cover that in another video, but it's, it's as easy as uh, setting up a device and putting it on your network and, and the Home Assistant will pick it up. Okay, thanks for watching.